On your screens right now, these are the companies that have one thing in common. What's that? They flocked to Plano, Texas. Come in, please. La Ros uh, um, Harry La Rosselier. I'm trying hard, Harry. I'm, Your Honor, I'm trying hard to get it right. And I think I did okay right there, right? <laughs> Actually, you nailed it pretty good, but you're welcome to just call me Ma Mayor Harry. There's no problem. You're on, Mayor Harry. Thanks for joining us. Now then, Thank you. what kind of tax breaks did you have to give these companies? Now, I know you've got low costs. I know you've got a great educated workforce. I got all of that. But did you give them a tax break? Well, yes. Yeah, so we use the toolbox that are available to us within our economic development and, uh, um, parameters. And so we have incentives for... Uh, creating jobs uh, that we we provide, you know, we, we have a matrix of per job uh, basis. We also um, we also look at property taxes and and things of that nature. But really, all we want to do is partner with businesses and yeah. and collaborate because we know businesses represent people that will join our community and, and be a vibrant part sure. of our our well, local economy. Did it work financially? I mean, you, you're giving them breaks; they move in. Does the increased revenue to the town, I take it there is increased revenue to the town when they move in, does that cancel out what you paid them to get there? Is it a deal? Well, sure. There's always economic benefit when you add, you're adding more to your local economy. There's a ripple effect. There's housing, there's sales tax, there's travel. And so, um, you, you, you know, that's why we've been uh, able to uh, have such a vibrant economy throughout a, a difficult time. You know, it's... Yeah. Uh, companies like you, you you just showed come to Plano because we have a you know safe city, great school district, and then all those things are reasons why people live, work, and play in the city and, and create revenue so that we can deliver the services and continue continue that that upward cycle of prosperity. How, how, how many people do you got in Plano? So we're a population of just a little under three hundred thousand. But the interesting thing about it is that we are a major work epicenter of employment in North Texas. We have yeah. over 39 companies, 39 companies with over 500 employees, 17 with over 1,000, and, and, and five with over 3,000 employees residing in our city. So we're a major employment center. You're part uh, of the exodus, All the reasons you? you talked about. You, 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 people from California, from New Jersey, New York, businesses, are they the ones that's coming to Plano? Yeah, so we have a lot of attractions uh, to to uh, reason to attract folks from the from either coast. We're centrally located from a time standpoint, so uh, uh, the ability to conduct business on either coast is much more conducive. We have DFW Airport, one of the best airports in the country, yeah. that has a lot of international travel. So we're about 20, 25 minutes away from DFW on a on a good day. So uh, there's a lot of reasons why. Texas is the choice, but specifically in Texas, uh, Plano, Plano for sure. Harry La Rosselière. I think I got it, it, Your Honor. I got it. I got, I'm trying here, Your Honor. <laughs> it was well, a we're excited that Peloton's joining us, and uh, Peloton's riding with us. We're riding with exactly. Peloton. Maybe we'll, we'll have an online race someday, uh, Stuart, in a couple of months or so, no, once won't. I get my uh, No, you absolutely will not. Uh, Your Honor, thank you very much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you. We really appreciate thank it. You. See you soon.